All right, so the next tab we're going to look at is the collaboration tab under your name tab up there. So this is actually a pretty powerful tab that integrates the My Collab client with the collaboration, uh, the Mytel Audio Web collaboration server. So if you have both features available to you, then this actually works really well together. So it's really easy to get into your, your conference meetings, schedule a conference, start a conference with somebody else if you need to start something right away. Um, so the way that this works, if you hit collaboration, you have three options here, start collaboration, schedule a conference or view conference meeting. So I'm going to click on view conference meeting so I'll, you can see how it logs me in automatically to the conference server. So if I click on that, it's going to bring up my default um, web browser. And because of the web browser I'm using, I have to allow blocked content here in the bottom. And now it's, it logs me in automatically to my audio and web conference portal. So I don't have to log in manually to that. So this is the quickest, easiest way to get to that if you need to manage or create any conferences or whatever. So once you're in here, you're going to see all your conferences that you currently have scheduled. And then if you want to set up a conference, you can go to set up conference here. You can do a one-time reoccurring, reservation list, whatever you have available per your system administrator. You may or may not have reservation lists. This is um, more of an advanced feature that a lot of uh, system administrators don't turn on on some service servers. So, uh, and then if you go to home, then you're actually where you would normally log into the MyCollab um, server where you can do the start conference and so forth. So this is a whole different training application on how to manage this, but this just shows you how to get to this type of, um, to get to that from the MyCollab, from the MyCollab client. So just to show you how the other ones work real quick, if you go to collaboration, start a conference. So here we can actually put in a topic. So we'll say test, whatever. We'll say we want to do audio, video, or web. For this one, we'll just say audio. It's fine. And I probably need to pick the participants first. So if I do a search, let me start typing somebody in here. Let's do somebody I know is in the system. So I can add that person. This is another user on our system. So you can add as many people as you want here. Um, Once you add the people, then you can pick um, you can pick what type of conference you want to do, and then you'll hit start the conference. And this will actually send notifications to these people in their MyCollab client that they've been invited to a conference, if they want to join the conference or not. So this this quick start conference is only really used for other users who have the MyCollab client already built into their um, that are using this as well. You can't really do this for an outside party if you're trying to send it somewhere externally because they're not part of the service and they won't get the notification on the client. So just so I'm not bothering these people, I'm not going to start this. But but once you hit start, it'll bring up the My, My Collab conference settings and then it'll send them a, a notification so that they can join the conference. The other thing we were looking at is uh, schedule a conference. So if you click on that, this should bring you up to the website just like we were on before. But this time, instead of showing my scheduled conferences, I'm right up at set up a conference and I can do a one time reoccurring reservation list, whatever I'm allowed to do here to um, set up a conference. All right, so that is the collaboration tab.